Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a wonderful sweet Thai tea with some delicious boba. So first up, to get this started, we're just going to break down some tamarind, which is very similar uh, to what um, a date tastes like. Very uh, honey-like. It has just a wonderful dark fruit flavor. Nonetheless, we're just going to break that down, throw it into a food processor just to have sort of a light uh, puree, sort of this chunky puree because there's seeds in it. And all we're looking for with the tamarind is just to give off that wonderful honey flavor when we steep uh, the tea and all the other spices with it. Once the tamarind's all chopped up, you're gonna add it to the container that you're gonna steep all your ingredients in. Um, followed by some Ceylon tea and some star anise, some vanilla extract, some orange uh, blossom water. You can also add some cardamom um, and some other spices if you'd like. And then you're going to pour some hot water over the top and let this steep for at least a half an hour. Alright, so while you're waiting for your tea to steep, you're going to start cooking your tapioca pearls. So in a small saucepan, you're going to fill it up with some water, bring it to a rolling boil, and then add your tapioca pearls. These specific ones, which I'll link in the description box below uh, where you can find them, they take about 15 minutes to cook. They'll rise to the top, as you can see, and that just shows you that they're cooking properly. Uh, like I said, they take 15 minutes in boiling water, and then you're going to pour them out into a separate bowl and let them rest for an additional 15 minutes. While they're uh, resting, you can make a simple brown sugar and honey syrup that they're going to um, essentially live the rest of their life in after they're done cooking. Um, so get another small sauce pot, fill it up halfway with some water, add some brown sugar and some honey, and reduce this until you have a delicious brown sugar and honey syrup. Should take about five to 10 minutes. Once you have your sugar syrup mixture ready to go and your tapioca pearls are completely cooked, you're just going to gently strain them into the syrup mixture. Now this does one of two things. It stops the tapioca from overcooking and it imparts all that delicious honey flavor into the tapioca as well. Once that's done, you're going to let this cool down for at least a half an hour before using. Alright, once you have everything ready to go, you're going to scoop a couple of generous spoonfuls of that delicious boba into your glass. Top it all off uh, with some ice. Don't be, uh, don't be shy on ice here. Top it all the way off to the top. And then you're going to fill it up uh, three quarters of the way up with your strongly brewed tea. And then of course you're going to top it off with this delicious cream mixture that's equal parts condensed milk and evaporated milk. And that's it guys. All you got to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy a Thai tea with boba that you can call your own. Boba, boba, boba. Boba, boba, boba. Let's get this boba on the road, okay? Give it a good little mix. Mixy hoo-ha. Mixy hoo-ha. Little mixy hoo-ha. Now I can me some Thai tea boba. Well, this is my version of Thai tea. I want you to try it out. I'm the only one that's available we'll to try it out. <laughs> this is true. You are readily available. Mmm. <laughs> good? That's good, yeah. It's, yeah? Not, it's not as sweet mm -hmm. as the boba place, which is fine, because sometimes it's like nauseatingly sweet. Right. Well, that has to do with probably the syrup that the boba's in. I mean, I'm not too keen on a really sweet tea. Are mm -hmm. you? Do you like tea no. really sweet? No, that's what I'm saying. It's usually too sweet at yeah, the bubble place. Not a big really fan. Mm -hmm. What about the spices? Mm -hmm. Star anise, has a little bit of orange blossom, mm -hmm. the tea. You made this from scratch, right? Yeah, everything's from scratch, except I didn't make the tapioca pearls. <laughs> um, it tastes just like Thai tea. Mm, let me get, not, okay. It's just not as like super sweet. Let me get my sip on. Mm, mm. It's good, it's good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Well, I think this was, this was a successful Thai tea with the boba recipe. Pretty happy the way it turned out. I guess she agrees, right? I agree. Pretty I totally good. agree. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please thumbs up, subscribe at the end of this video, and comment below for future video requests, things you want to see on my channel. And I'll see you guys next time with another delicious recipe. Bye, everybody.